Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time! Last time, we defeated Dead Hand, and, well, once I was done with that fight, I would have just used Ferrari's Wind to warp back here anyway, even if I didn't end the episode where that was. But now let's put our new, uh, what is it, Lens, Lens of Truth to use around here. You can reveal secret passages, like in here, and you can see in front of this chest, there's a hidden pitfall there, so you want to watch out for that. There's a whole bunch of hidden pitfalls throughout this whole area. And they'll drop you down to a basement level that you gotta climb out of and all that. But I do actually want to go down there after getting the compass. Okay, yeah, with these hidden pitfalls, even if you can see them, you still can't, like, jump over them. As though, like, they were a normal pitfall that you could see. And you can't, like, grab onto an edge or, the, well, the ledge there or whatever you got going on. Okay, so let's see. Up ahead there, we got a redead. And there's one behind me, too, so we might as well just use the Sun Song to paralyze both of them. That way we can get another chest. This is pretty much the reason I came down here, even though it takes a little while to get in and out of after getting the dungeon map. Although it's not really that useful now, we're almost done with the whole place, but okay. But all right, let's uh, get out of here then. Now to get out of this floor, we need to collect a whole bunch of these silver rupees. So yeah, let's, the green liquid will deal a little damage, but nothing extraordinary. Yeah, there's another one of those re-deads there. But yeah, we can just get out of here. There's a whole bunch of other paths down there that lead nowhere. There are other paths that if you... There's other places where you can drop down to get down to that floor. And that's where those paths would lead you to. But obviously I don't need to do that more than once. So yeah, just get all the silver rupees and we're good to go. And might as well get a little magic refill there. What's that? I mean, I know it's a skeleton, but, uh... Oh! Gee, thanks! That helps me out a lot. But now we can get out of there. Let's see. Okay, so we're back in the central area of the dungeon. So, yeah, we got another hidden treasure. There's gonna be a lot of those around here like that. Let's see, there's no hidden pitfalls around here, but let's see, around this corner. Haha, -ha, another one. And whenever you open a chest while you have the Lens of Truth active, it'll deactivate your Lens of Truth. And just wait for this guy to pass me by. There you go. And let's see, now I want to get into the very center of this floor. Yeah, normally there's a wall there. But all right, yeah, let's uh, take care of this guy. That's just a, uh, oh, okay, a big sculpture. There you go. I forgot the difference in names between the different variations of sculptures we encounter, but all right, we got some more Deku Nuts. I want to collect every, trust, or every chest in the dungeon here. Okay, let's see, I've got all the items I need. But, let's see, there's going to be a keys that's going to probably fly into my face right away. There we go. Okay, got that. Let's just shoot these guys down, although I could use the... Oh, yeah, there's the Lens of Truth. There's a hidden platform in there. But, yeah, I could use the boomerang to take those guys out, but that takes longer. Okay, so now, yeah, I had to deactivate the Lens of Truth in order to you or manually aim with the slingshot there but all right we got all that game get me out of here okay so that room with the compass that was in the southeast part of this floor right straight ahead there but we don't need to worry about that now there's a hidden pitfall in the middle of the floor there so you want to watch out for that and there's like a wall master, whatever it is on the ceiling there. But this dungeon's short enough that it, that really doesn't matter. But just avoid them and be done with it. Oh, I thought I missed that one, but no, no, we're good. 
But, uh, yeah, you know what? I want to get a little... Whoa! I was going to say I want to get a little magic refill, but, uh, well, no, apparently not. Not today. I didn't know if those would have one or not. Whatever. Okay, so let's keep on going then. Let's see, just like the east side, we got an exit from the central room on the right, or the west side there. Whoa! Almost forgot about that guy. I just remembered that at the last second. Whoa! Ow! Did I... Yeah, we got a heart. All right. Okay, now over here, you need to be very careful if you want to get this chest. Yeah, they got a, a hidden pitfall there. So just blow away the debris. And then we got another hidden chest. I'm not going to say secret treasure after every single one of these things, because there are too many. Okay, so yeah, let's watch out for that, and let's see. Okay, I need to get out of the way. Nuts! Okay. Well, I fell down, but that's okay. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, there's a hidden pitfall on the left there, so you want to watch out for that. But now, let's just go through this crawl space here. Got a couple more treasures and another Sculptula. And then I think we'll be good. Okay, now this part can be a little tricky. We've got three fire keys to deal with. So let's see what we can do. Okay, kill that guy. I don't want to move too far forward in the floor. Haha! -ha! First try. Yeah, I don't want to move too far forward because we got more hidden pitfalls that we need to work around to get through this place. But even if one of those fire keys would have hit me, it wouldn't have been that bad because we got uh, this chest, which would have contained another Deku shield anyway. Whoa. But uh, let's see. I'm going to equip my Hylian shield just in case for what we got coming up here. Okay, we are done with the bombs. Let's see. I want to have Din's fire for this part. Hopefully that'll do. And I don't think I need the... Well, what I, I don't need the Lens of Truth anymore. Okay, let's get in between the Gold Sculptula and the Like Like there. I think that'll kill the Like Like there. Yes! Okay, good, good. And... Okay. For that one again. Haha! -ha! Gotcha! Okay, so we got the Sculptula there and a blue rupee. But if I if I got eaten by the like like there, he would have eaten my Hylian shield, and that chest would have had another Hylian shield. Now let's just uh, save and quit and get back to the entrance of the dungeon. Now I need to head to where is it? The uh, Zora's River there, and unfortunately, there is not a really good way of doing that. So, we'll just have to walk all the way there. None of my warp songs will take me anywhere close to that, or closer than where I am now. Because, I mean, I could use, like, the Minuet of Forests, or whatever that one was called. Oh, let me see if I can't get any magic from these. No, I guess not. Well, at least I got some more ammo. But yeah, like, I could take the Lost Wood shortcut to get there. Or I could take the Goron City Warp to get there. Or Lake Hylia, and then go to Zora's Domain, and then backtrack to Zora's River. Yeah, there's just not a really good way of... A good time to do this, so we might as well do it now. I mean, if I routed things more like a speedrun would, then yeah, there would have been a good time. But here, no. Not when I'm trying to get just about everything as soon as possible. But at least I'll have an easy warp out. Okay, let's see. Can I get some magic? Magic? Any magic? No? Okay. Well, I keep on getting more ammo. Well, it's not like I'm really worried about my magic supply. The Lens of Truth, I mean, it does use magic, but it's, 
like negligible. I wouldn't really worry about that. Okay. Alright, so we need to get to right about where we found that heart piece before. Then, let's see, drop down. And, okay, so we got this log here. Let me get into the water here. Get a little message, I think. Can we? What's going on? Oh, yeah, I put it to use. But, uh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, there's some frogs in the water right by this log. And if you stand right here with your ocarina, you can play some songs for them. And the frogs, whenever you play a song for them, each frog corresponds to one of the buttons that you use for uh, playing your songs. And for playing the Song of Storms for them, we get a heart piece. Now, in order to get another item from them, you need to play all of the Child Link songs for them. You gotta do it one at a time there. But it's pretty easy. I'll see how many of them I can actually memorize. I'll probably forget one at some point. But we'll see what we can do. And yeah, every time you play a new song for them, they will give you 50 rupees. Not that you really need it again, but it's there. And every time you play one of the Child Link songs for them, one of them will get bigger for some reason. I don't know why. But all right, let's see. Sun Song. I wonder if that'll actually affect the day-night cycle here. I don't think so. But all right. Yeah, it's basically the same dialogue every time except the Song of Storms there. Okay, let's see. We got Saria's song. Okay, yeah, I know the remaining songs now. When I was practicing earlier, I forgot the Sun Song. I just couldn't remember that one in my head, but no, no, we're good. Okay, and last but not least, the Song of Time. And let's see, that'll make the last frog grow, and then we got the hard part. I didn't think rupees would qualify as a souvenir, but okay. Okay, so once you've played the five Child Link songs for them, and you're supposed to know, like, which frog corresponds to which button on the 3DS or Nintendo 64 controller there, and there's going to be a bug that's going to hover over each one of them, and you have to interpret that as a song, but that's really annoying to have to do. So fortunately, I know what the notes are going to be in advance, because I've got them in my notes. So I'll just do this then. I will list the inputs that you need for the song there in the video description for the Nintendo 64. Uh, buttons that you need to press. I'll use like a less than sign for C left or a greater than sign for C right or lowercase v for a C down there. And yeah, I'll list the inputs in the video description so that way... Oh, no, I need to get out of here. But yeah, I'll list the inputs in the video description so you can just read that instead of actually trying to manually figure out which notes do I need to do or whatever like that. Okay, so now, if you recall, going to Death Mountain Crater as Child Link, you wouldn't have been able to get over to the side because you didn't have the hook shot. But now that we've got the... What was it? Yeah, the Bolero of Fire, we can make it over here. Okay, let's see. I want the... 
whatever, whichever one. Uh, let's see, yeah, if you recall, there's a soft soil spot here. So let's put a magic bean in there. Even speed runs put a magic bean into that one. Because there's a heart piece that I think I pointed out on top of one of the parts of... What is it? I can't seem to get a good view of it. Well, there's a heart piece up there somewhere by Spectacle Rock. Whoop, just a little off. <laughs> there you go! Third time's a charm! But yeah, you need a Magic Bean platform here in order to get an item that's on top there. And there's just no other way of doing it without, like, a major glitch. I don't know, there's probably a glitch you could do that I don't know about. I did not research glitches very much for this LP. But all right, okay, so now we're back at the Temple of Time. There's a couple things that I wanna do back by Hyrule Castle first, and then we'll go back to the future. But yeah, really, the only thing you need from the past is the Lens of Truth. And even then, you don't need it, but it makes things easier. A lot easier being able to see where hidden platforms are, or pitfalls, or whatever there. Okay, let's see. So I need it to be nighttime, because, if I recall correctly, this minigame is not open during the day. Yeah, there we go. And we could have gone into this minigame before, but it would have been extremely difficult or unlikely to actually get through this place. So basically what you do, you pay 10 rupees, you get a key. You need to open up, you got two chests to choose from, and you can only open one of them. If you open the right one, you get a small key. If you open up the wrong one, you'll get some small amount of rupees. So the object of the game is to get all the way to the end of this place without picking a wrong chest. And I think there's, what, five 50-50 shots that you have to get through? So that'd be like, what, a 1 in 32 chance of actually making it without the Lens of Truth? And really, there's no reason to get it earlier in the game. I mean, you could have done it, but it, you're better off just getting the Lens of Truth, going in and out, and getting to the end of this place. Where we can get a heart container. Or a piece of heart. Yeah, number 33? Oh, 34. Right, right. Forgot about one. But, uh, okay, I'll just meet you uh, outside then. Well, it's not going to take very long to get back to the front there. Whatever. But yeah, even speedruns wait until you can get the Lens of Truth in order to do this minigame. It's just not worth going that far out of your way to try and get this really early. Although that does kind of surprise me. I would think there would have been, I don't know, some sort of algorithm or pattern that would allow speedrunners to know where the keys are. I think there is a limited... I, I think someone was saying there's a limited number of permutations of where the keys can be in those sequence of five. So it's not like, I guess it wouldn't exactly be a 1 in 32 chance, but still, you don't want to take the chance of losing and then you'll lose like a minute of time or whatever, which is huge in a speed run. But now what I want to do is I want to get back to the moat of Hyrule Castle. If you recall, let's see, we came back here before to get Din's fire. And speedruns would usually wait until they have the Song of Storms to get both Din's fire and this item at the same time. Oh, game? <laughs> what are the odds of that happening? <laughs> but okay. 
So yeah, they wouldn't have gotten Din's Fire until now, but I wanted to have Din's Fire because it makes things a little easier in some spots, like at the uh, Ice Cavern and things like that. Okay, so let's see. We got Bomb. Let's see. We got a whole bunch of these bombable walls here. Oh! <laughs> That killed the gold scroll joy. <laughs> I, I didn't know that that was exactly going to be there, but okay. <laughs> that works. I mean, I knew the gold scroll joy was behind that bombable wall. But I forgot, like, exactly where it was. I mean, I knew it was going to be there all along. But all right, yeah, we're done with our business as child link now i think that's about as much as we can do at this point so now yeah in order to get back to the future just take the master sword and we get to go through puberty all over again man that's really got a rick havoc on link's mind at the very least holy cow but what awaits us inside the shadow temple Find out next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time. This is H.T. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.